Hey everybody, how's it going? Our house 21 here, and I'm finally about to paint Project Bandit. So, you see right here, this body is pretty interesting, and I know you can barely see it here because it's clear, and it's clear. But, this body has a pretty cool option where you can just paint the body of the outside and just use decals for the light uh, for the light uh, boxes here. Or you could actually, you know, it actually comes with these separate light buckets and you can paint these so that you have like a three dimensional look to the body. And actually, if you look right here, th this looks like they actually set it up so that, um, you know, they didn't use that option for their photos. But I figured that, you know, just to be a little bit different, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot. So I've got my paints all set up here. So I've got my red and my silver for the front and rear light buckets. I'm also going to be using uh, this, uh, this Tamiya, um, this Tamiya smoke paint here to, um, to go ahead and tint the windows. And this should come out pretty funky. So I've got my window mask here. So let me go ahead and mask this guy up and then I get ready to paint. Okay guys, so I think I'm pretty happy with the color coats for Project Bandit here. And you can see it's starting to actually look like a bandit. So next step is to go ahead and put some backing white on it. And there's a couple reasons to put the backing paint on there. Number one, it actually protects the paint. So it, it actually helps that you have a nice stronger surface. But number two, it actually helps to make this look more uniform. Because the thing about some of these paints is no matter how hard you try, you can't lay them down perfectly uniform. So as you see here, when I hold this up here, no matter how hard you try, you know, you're not going to get it perfectly uniform and you're going to need these little splotches that come up when you're doing well with the rattle cans. So the backing coat is going to give you a nice even, even coat that's going to make your paint look a lot more smooth in the sunlight. So that just, just help you get a better result. Plus this backing coat is actually made to be a little bit more durable. So it holds up the punishment a little bit more than the standard coat. So my plan here is to go ahead and put down the backing coat and then I'm going to come back after the backing coat is set up and then I'm going to fog in or smoke the windows and uh, just a few light coats of that just in this general area and that should be, you know, that should be that. Oh, and also, as you can see over here, I've got my little light buckets done. So these guys, they look a little dull right now, but when I take off the protective coating and put them underneath, it should have a nice effect. And if I don't like how it comes out, then I'll just pull them out and then I'll just use the stickers. All right, more to come. Okay guys, so the color is down. So Project Bandit is done painting. Now, overall, I think it came out pretty decently. You know, I mean, there's a few little things that, you know, little, little blemishes here and there that I wish I can go back and fix. But, you know, overall, I think the, I think the overall effect is gonna be really nice. So as you can see, you know, now that the color is on, you can kind of see the smoke in the windows and the nice tin effect. And I've got the little rear spoiler here that's gonna be fit to the back. And I've got my light buckets. You know, so those are gonna fit in here and give the lights a nice three-dimensional pop look. So um, next time you see this, guys, I'm gonna have these guys fit in place. And I would just kind of dry fit them for a little bit, but the paint's not quite cured yet. But, yeah, she's good. I'll just maneuver this one-handed. If I can. So I'll do it like this. Let's flip it. Let's drop this guy in place. And then just turn it back over. And you can kind of see the effect there, where you can see the red kind of shining through. So, all right, so I'm going to, this isn't near ready to fully reveal yet, but 
you know, I think that the overall look is going to be nice. So stay tuned. You're going to see the whole thing. Uh, actually, next time I come in, I have all the decals on and show you what this thing looks like. All right. So our house 21 signing out. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and remember to check me out on social media. That's Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And as always, remember the mantra, fly, fix, fly, break it, fix it, and do it all over again. Our house 21 signing out. Peace.